Well, as more studies of potential new treatments for COVID-19 continue to be ramped up, more information on highly publicized drugs continues to stream in. Hydroxychloroquine in particular has made headlines recently. We bring in Dr. Frank Me George with an update. Doc, are you still uh, in the study at Henry Ford Hospital? Yeah, Devin, I am. And, you know, we're talking about the WIP COVID-19 study, which is still enrolling people. In fact, I have been taking the daily pills for almost, hard to believe, seven weeks already. Now, to be clear, I have no idea if I'm taking a daily dose, a weekly dose, or simply placebo. But in the meantime, there has been a lot of new information on hydroxychloroquine, and it has not all been favorable. Last week, the British journal Lancet published the results of a large observational study that looked at over 96,000 COVID-19 patients in 671 hospitals across six continents. They found there was no benefit to chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine, either alone or combined with a macrolide antibiotic like Zithromax, when they were started within 48 hours of diagnosis. In fact, there was a significantly increased risk of serious heart rhythm abnormalities for COVID-19 patients on any of those drug combinations, as well as an increased risk of death on the drugs. Now, it's important to note, this was an observational study, so we cannot draw cause and effect conclusions regarding harm. But it's notable that other recent studies published in the New England Journal of Medicine and JAMA also failed to identify any benefit. Now, the latest Lancet study was significant enough that the World Health Organization announced they are putting a pause on the hydroxychloroquine arm of a large international randomized controlled study of four different drugs, including hydroxychloroquine, to treat COVID-19 until they can complete a safety analysis of the drug. Now, I do want to point out, there are more studies of hydroxychloroquine left to be completed. And going back to Henry Ford's WIP COVID-19 study, it is looking at something that has not been studied well. That is preventative use of hydroxychloroquine before an infection. Now, it's certainly possible that it may not be effective as a treatment, that is hydroxychloroquine, but it might keep you safe if you're exposed. That's the purpose of the WIP COVID study. We'll wait and see. Back to you be following it okay thank you doc well much more ahead here on the news at five including what happened today